Okay, what we're going to do now is add uh, our maneuver the tire so it fits in the scene correctly with that tire. So let's drop it down to about right here. Go to our coordinates manager and let's see if I can get this right right off the bat. Let's put 90% here and check to see if we're right. Yeah, I did it good. Correctly in the right direction. Let's go at three again. We're going to scale it some. Make sure that you're the, in the use model tool and then scale it up so it fits our reference image pretty good okay there we go pretty good now let's pull it in a little bit and you want to make sure that it sets behind this the tire well right there just a little bit this the edge of the tire i mean the uh fender okay now we've got that one in position let's go ahead and copy paste and pull it to the back go to f3 again to the side view and let's slide this back to the back tire now you can leave it this size if you want to but normally on some of these trucks like this the back tire is always bigger so let's scale it up a little bit All right there should be good move it in needs to be a little bit bigger spacebar scale tool again there we go now I want the back tire a little fatter. Normally tires are fatter on this truck, so just scale out a little bit so it sticks out a little bit so we get a big fat tire. Yeah, that looks good. That's beefy. Alrighty. There we go. Now we have the tires in position. Now we need to do a little bit of renaming files here. What we want to do is go here and name this front. And then go ahead and double click this up here. Go in here and name this back. That's all you've got to do. And take it and slip it down in here. Select this one. Right click and say group objects. And name it tire rims. Okay. Delete this one up here. We're not done yet. Next what we want to do is go ahead and go down here. And select the symmetry object. Drop it down into the hyper. Then drop this into the symmetry and let's switch over to the other side and see if it lined up pretty good if we are building everything correctly it'll line up perfectly with the other side and there you go we have the tires and rims on with the brakes uh, the only thing is that you can see the brakes point the wrong way so what we're going to do is go to f3 and we're going to go to object commander and select the front and do the rotation tool here we go, and just spin it around. Let's give a little bit of angle to it so it looks cool. And then select the back, and I think we'll leave this one like this, and we'll slide it that way just a little bit. There we go, we've got everything in position. Now that's the end of that step. We have the tire and rims on the truck. We're almost to the finish line with modeling the truck. But one thing I'm gonna do, that I did not do on the truck I modeled first to have the reference truck to build from was wiper blades. I'm going to add that just to add a little bit more detail to the truck, and those will be real simple to make too. So then we can start tweaking out and smooth out some of these rough areas on the truck, like here up at the top, and add a cut line down here and a line down here to give it a little bit more shape to the truck. And we've got to fix the headlights and all that good stuff like that. But looks pretty good so far let's move on to step 20 well it'll be actually step 30 now because this is step 29 so see you there